Hi, this is Scott Weingold over at collegemadesimple.com, and today what I wanted to talk about was SAT optional colleges, and that some schools actually don't need to see your SAT or ACT scores in order to admit you, but you have to know the rules. Um, there's currently 800, over 830 colleges that are SAT and ACT optional colleges. Keep in mind that most are distance learning or religious schools, uh, but nevertheless, there are over 830 of them that don't necessarily need to see these these test scores. There's seven variations of this SAT optional theme. So let me just run through these. The first one is that the SAT and ACT will be used only for placement and academic advising. The second one is that the SAT and ACT would only be required for out-of-state students. The third one is that the SAT or ACT would only be required if a minimum GPA or minimum class rank is not met. The fourth one is that the SAT or ACT is required only for certain programs within the school, like a pre-med program. Um, number five is that the SAT or ACT is not required as long as you submit another accepted test that they're willing to take. Number six is that the SAT or ACT is not required if you submit certain uh, college entrance exams. And number seven is that with a 3.5 or greater GPA, uh, you need a combined 400 on the SAT critical reading and math sections to meet minimum requirements, but your score is not looked at as long as you hit that 400 point uh, score between those uh, between the critical reading and math sections. Anything above that doesn't really get taken into consideration. So, like I said, there's 830 plus colleges out there. Uh, most, once again, are the distance learning or religious schools, but check out and see which schools are out there. See if it's something that you want to consider looking at. For more information on how to pay for college without going broke or how to get into the school you really want to attend, definitely check us out at www.collegemadesimple.com. Take care.